again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 31st of January 2019. Article on the Daily Wire. These eight states allow abortion up to the moment of birth. Written by Amanda Prestigioma, P-R-E-S-T-I-G-I-A-C-O-M-O. -E published on the 30th of January 2019. The public has been outraged by a recent slew of state legislators and Democrat politicians looking to legalize the murder of the unborn up to the moment of birth, or, astonishingly, even after birth. Hmm. Well, when you say the public has been outraged, you're referring to the Republicans, not the Democrats. They vote for these dirtbags and put them into office. Earlier this month, pro-lifers and even many who consider themselves pro-choice were horrified to see New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, a Catholic Democrat, sign and celebrate the passing of the euphoristically named Reproductive Health Act. That's like calling Obamacare the Affordable Care Act. Aside from legalizing abortion up to the moment of birth, the legislation loosens restrictions on who can perform abortions and strips the murder of the unborn, including the murder of wanted babies from the state's criminal code. But unfortunately, such barbaric legislation is nothing new. As noted by the Daily Wire's Matt Walsh on Wednesday morning, there are a total of eight states, plus the District of Columbia, which allows the murder of unborn up to birth. The following states have no gestational limits on abortion, thanks to Democratic lawmakers. Alaska, Colorado, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, Oregon, Vermont, and New York, plus the District of Columbia. What do they all have in common? Huh? Well, what they all have in common is their democratic states. And the horror of legalized late-term abortion doesn't stop there. All states which do not have gestational cutoffs for abortion have exceptions to the limits, reports the Christian Post. Similarly, all states have laws banning late-term abortions still allow exceptions under circumstances, as noted by Gutmaker Institute, an organization that advocates for abortion rights worldwide. Such exemptions include, quote, babies with physical anomalies and the health of the mother, which can include mental health, according to pro-life group Operation Rescue. It's not worth noting that this honest Democrats and abortion advocates have been posturing radical abortion legislation as a mere alleged protection of women who need, quote, life-saving, end of quote, abortions. But when such legislation, such as New York's Reproductive Health Act, include the health of the mother, it gives abortion a leeway to essentially perform an abortion for any reason. Here's why. Health is defined by the Supreme Court, Dove versus Bolton, to broadly include emotional, psychological, familial, and woman's age. Moreover, medical professionals have disputed the idea that there was even such a thing as life-saving abortion. Dr. Anthony Lavatino, a practicing OBGYN who has performed over 1,200 elective abortions in his lifetime, rejected this notion while testifying before Congress on May the 17th, 212. During my tenure at Albany Medical Center, I managed hundreds of such cases by terminating pregnancies to save mothers' lives. In all those cases, the number of unborn children I had to deliver kill was zero, he told Congress. Here's further context of the testimony via live action. In cases where pregnancy places a woman in danger of death or a grave physical injury, a doctor more often than not doesn't have 36 hours, much less 72 hours to resolve the problem. Let me illustrate with a real life case that I managed while at the Albany Medical Center. A patient arrived one night at 28 weeks gestation with severe preeclampsia or toxemia. Her blood pressure on admission was 22, 220 over 160. A normal blood pressure is approximately 120 over 80. This patient's pregnancy was a threat to her life and the life of her unborn child. She could very well be minutes or hours away from a major stroke. 
This case was managed successfully by rapidly stabilizing the patient's blood pressure and terminating her pregnancy by cesarean section. She and her baby did well. This is a typical case in a world of high-risk obstetrics. In most such cases, any attempt to perform an abortion to save the mother's life would entail undue and dangerous delay in providing appropriate, true, life-saving care. During my time at Albany Medical Center, I managed hundreds of such cases by terminating pregnancies to save mothers' lives. In all these cases, the number of unborn children that I had to deliberately kill was zero. There's the embedded video that I will attach. Folks, this whole thing is out of control. And it's just going to get a whole lot worse. Why? Because Democrats have control of the House of Representatives. That's why. It's totally and completely insane. But it is what it is. You want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You want to repost it in all your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.